Welcome back here to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel. My name is Sally and in today's tutorial I will show you how to set up squad dedicated server on your Windows VPS. So let's get started. First I will show you how to get a Windows VPS server. If you own one already, skip the video to the provided timestamp on the screen. Now navigate to the root server bar, select VPS Hosting and then click on Windows VPS Hosting. Here you can configure a server to your liking. You can change the server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space, IP addresses, bandwidth and the operating system. Also make sure to select at least 100GB of storage as the squad server files take up a lot of space. Finally select a payment method but before you confirm your order here is a little gift from us. 50% off voucher code which you can use by clicking here on your voucher and typing squad minus Windows. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on your VPS server and wait for the server to finish the installation. Once the installation completes, navigate to the settings tab which can be found right here on the left. Here create administrator password that you will have to use in order to log in via remote desktop app. After that click on save. Now copy your service IP and launch the remote desktop app on your PC. Click on show options. In the logon settings tab paste in the IP to your server. The username will always be administrated by default. Now click on act and then type the password which is the one you defined earlier and click ok. After successfully connecting to the machine, create a folder on your desktop and name it however you like. For example, I will call it Squad Server. Now open Google Chrome and paste in the link that you will find in the video description or simply search for Steam CMD. Here scroll down until you find the download link and click on download. Once the download finishes, feel free to close this window. Now open File Explorer, go to the Downloads folder, open the Steam file and drag and drop the contents of it into the folder you created earlier. After that, double click Steam CMD and wait for the installation to finish. After it is finished, write down the following command, login anonymous. Then paste in the app update command that you will find in the video description. Installation of your squad dedicated server will now begin, which can take up to 15 minutes, so sit back and relax. You will now need to unlock the ports in the firewall before starting the server. To do so, simply create a new text document and call it ports.bat. Now open the file with Notepad++ and paste in the text that can be found in the video description. After that, save the file, close it and run it as administrator. This script will unlock all the ports needed for the server to work. Now open the folder you created earlier again. Here you will find a bunch of new files. Go to Steam Apps common, squad dedicated server, squad game, then server config. In here you will find a lot of config files that you can change. Now open server.cfg with Notepad++ and feel free to change your server name, adjust slots or anything else. After the changes, remember to save the file and close it. Now go back and navigate to binaries, then win64. In here you will find squad game server.exe, so simply double click it to start the server. Nothing will open nor a pop-up will appear as the server runs in the background as a silent process. To save the service online, simply open taskbar and check the process. You can also stop the server ending the task. Now let's try connecting to the server. Launch squad on your PC. Once you're in the game, navigate the servers, then go to custom browser. Here click on filter and make sure that all of the boxes are checked. Then in the search box, simply search for a server, click on it and then press on join server. And as you can see, you have now successfully connected to your own squad server. Enjoy! If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zap server.